Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be working through this problem with you as though you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem is found in the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson nine of the physics one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. All right, so what I always like to do when I'm tackling a math problem like this, especially in the physics section, is I like to figure out what am I trying to find and what do I already know? And we know that what we're trying to find here is the magnitude of the electric field. I know that in equations, that's usually represented by a big E. I've already been given the voltage, and I've also already been given the distance. Now, do I know any from my content study, do I know any equations that are going to relate these things? Well, the key equation here is V equals E times D. Or, in other words, if I were to divide both sides by D, since I'm trying to solve for that magnitude of that electric field, I could get E equals V over D. That's the equation I'm working with. Just to visualize this a little bit, we've got an electric field between two plates. So we have a positively charged plate on one side, negatively charged plate on the other side, and the electric field is not over there, it's in here. So we can clearly see that we've got a distance between these two plates. That's the D we're talking about. That's what we're trying to figure out here is how strong is this electric field that's moving between these two plates and the distance and the voltage are what's going to help us figure that out. Now let's get back to the problem, do some math, let's see this in action. All right, so we already talked about the equation we need to know, which is the magnitude of the electric field equals voltage divided by distance. Great, awesome. Now what I'm seeing here is my voltage is five. That's not gonna be too bad at all. I've got a five on top, that's a nice number. Now, the problem is, is my distance is in centimeters, but all my answer options are in meters. So I'm clearly gonna wanna find a way to change centimeters to meters. We know that four centimeters is the same thing as saying 0 0.04 meters. What I like to do personally, it's always easier for me to put things in scientific notation. I like to round to one digit, since you can round on the MCAT pretty easily, and then just find the answer in the multiple choice. So I like to round to one digit. Fortunately, I already have one digit here. And then I like to put this in scientific notation. In my mind, that makes non-calculator math a lot easier. So we've got 5 volts over 4 times 10 to the negative 2 meters. Of course, this is going to be 5 times 10 to the 0, which is 1. Now, how can I divide this? 5 over 4, see what I mean about the math being a little bit easier? If I'm dealing with 5 fourths, I know I'm dealing with 1.25. That math isn't too bad. And then if I do the 0 over the negative 2, I can add 2. 0 plus 2, since I'm dividing, we've got 1.25 times 10 squared, which would be 125. And this is going to be my correct answer. Let's check it out. Awesome, spot on. Now I wanna point something out here and don't think I'm telling you not to learn the equations. Please, please learn your content and please, please learn the equations. They're gonna be key on the MCAT. They're gonna come up a lot. But if you are on test day, you see this question, you don't know what equation to use, you're stressing out. One thing that I would notice here as a last case resort is your units are volts over meters in your question. It gives you a volts value, it gives you a centimeters value. So if I had to guess here, I think I could make a pretty accurate guess by putting my volts over centimeters and converting it to meters, even if I didn't know the equation. So units can help you out a ton on the MCAT if you pay attention to what you're trying to figure out, what you already have, and what unit your answer is in. Hopefully that's helpful. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. Now, if you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how we can help you maximize your MCAT score. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time. Have a good one.